Well, what's up, Michigan? Welcome back to another season of In the Dugout, the high school baseball interview podcast presented by the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association, where every week throughout the season, I will chat with a different coach from across the state. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of talking with longtime University Liggett head coach Dan Samini. Coach, it is always a pleasure. I'm glad to be here, Lauren. Appreciate it. All right. So, um... I appreciate you dressing up for the occasion. No, we know it's game day. Uh, and, you know, uh, um, we normally record these interviews on Wednesday. This week we're recording on Thursday. But all of these shows will upload on Fridays along with our baseball show, Extra Innings. You can find the audio version of this podcast on Spreaker.com, video version on the State Champs Michigan YouTube and Facebook page, or on our website, State Champs Network. Com. Now, Coach, uh, we're talking just before your Knights have the task of taking on one Orchard Lake St. Orchard Lake St. Mary's this afternoon. So by the time this show debuts, we'll already know the outcome. In fact, you've got a double header. Talk about the matchup. OLSM, the defending national champions, according to Max Preps. You know, it's exciting. It's exciting. Uh, you know, it's always fun to get together with those guys, uh, all our players and all their players. And Obviously, me and uh, Coach Petrie are good friends, so um, it's a great matchup. Really good players, um, and it, you know we're going to get after it. It's going to be fun. They've played five games, we've played zero, so I'm going to give them a little bit of an advantage. Uh, uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's uh, you know we're so excited to get out there and play. Um, so I'm, I'm just I'm looking for to watch some good baseball and watch some kids play great baseball today, and we finally have good weather. Absolutely, and it's great to play two. Uh, in a situation where you're debuting, really give a chance for everybody to get in, uh, see where things are at. And uh, uh, you're competing in Division Two this season. Last year, you were in Division Three, lost to Detroit Edison in the first round. Always so many expectations, you know, going into a, a postseason, especially for a team like yours. Uh, what did the team learn from the early exit in last year's playoffs? Well, it, we learned that anything can happen in baseball. When you have a 4-1 lead, and you probably should have had a 10-1 lead. Um, we left a lot of runners on base. That comes back to get you, and you don't realize it until the game's over. But uh, credit to their kid. He, you know, two outs, it's a, a home run to grand slam to beat us 5-4. Uh, so, um, listen, it's baseball. We've done that to other teams, and it was done to us last year. But you know what? That's motivation to go to this year. That We don't look backwards, but they know – uh, you know, they're used to being in the Final Four, and we want to win the last game of the year, just like every every team in the state of Michigan. So it's exciting to start off against the uh, uh, national power, number one team in the state in Division One at Orchard Lake St. Mary's. Um, it's only going to make us better going throughout the season, especially with the league we're in. Uh, I'd like you to talk a little bit about the team you've got coming back this season. Obviously, some really, really solid, solid players, some highly decorated players from just a year ago. Uh, preseason polls have you as the top team right now in Division Two. Yeah, you know, all these guys have uh, put themselves in position to be successful. Uh, you know, I have uh, my catcher's going, uh, Oliver Service is going to Texas. My shortstop, uh, Jaron Purify, is going to Clemson. Third baseman, Preston Barr, is going to Michigan. Second baseman. Uh, Reggie Sharp's going to Michigan. Uh, Jack Jones, who's going to be hurt this year, he won't be able to pitch, uh, hurt his knee in football. He's going to Michigan State. So we have some kids that are, uh, they know how to play this game and they're going to go on and do better things once the season's over. But their eye is on the prize and the prize is getting to the Final Four and uh, winning another state championship before they go off to college. What do you know about, I mean, obviously Orchard Lake always brings a, a talent to roster. Um, what do you think is going to be the keys uh, for you guys to defeat them? They're always so heavy, at, especially at the pitching end. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to, we need to hit. Uh, if you're going to beat that team, you've got to hit the baseball and put some runs on the board because they're not going to get shut out. Um, and we need to play great defense and throw strikes. If we do that, um, if they hit the ball over the park, I'll take that all day long, but I don't want to walk three or four guys and then have someone hit a pop-up grand slam, and then next thing you know, we're done. So uh, we just need to take care of our business, not really worry about them. Uh, they're going to do what they got to do. We got to do what we got to do. But uh, we got to start off the season throwing strikes, making plays, and putting a bat on the ball. Right. We're talking with Dan Smeany, Gross Point Woods University Liggett's head coach. And, uh, you know, Dan, we had an opportunity to catch up at your convention uh, in January, and that was uh, it's always exciting. And uh, 50th year, right? Of the, uh, yeah. of the convention this season, so the association uh, strong, and you've been a big part of it 
uh, it, during your time uh, as a high school baseball coach here in the state of Michigan. Um, what came out of that convention? You know, for those who aren't uh, familiar with it, the you know the coaches get together and there's our. our you know, discussions of rule changes, things like that. MHSA is represented. You have great speakers like college coaches come and speak. And obviously it's an opportunity for all the coaches to get together and really just kind of grow that fraternal organization that you guys have been able to build. Um, but what's what's the big thing that we should be looking forward to this season? You know, just good camaraderie, guys knowing who each other are. You know, a lot of times what I love more than anything is getting on the schedule and knowing these coaches. Um, getting to know them a little bit personally at these conventions, uh, finding out a little bit about them, uh, you know, building friendships across the state. Uh, that's what it's about. Um, you know, everybody wants to be in the Final Four. Everybody wants to win the state championship. But just having great baseball across the state, kids learning, uh, good coaches. Um, you know, in the past, we haven't had that you know, coaches that have been coaching for so long. You know, right. now they coach for a couple of years and they're done. We have to you know, get coaches that are going to be around 20, 30 years. Some of these guys like Greasebaum and those guys have been coaching for three years. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to see. But, you know, we got we to gotta continue that and get these coaches excited about coaching for longevity. And obviously you're involved uh, year-round in baseball. Uh, you're coaching, you know, not just in high school, in other areas, other avenues. Um, what's the health of high school baseball right now in the state of Michigan, in your eyes? It's as good as it's ever been since I've been alive and I've been alive for 53 years. So <laughs> yeah. um, I'll tell you right now, it's it's strong. These kids are going off and playing in other huge schools outside of the state of Michigan. Before it was just, can we get to a big school in the state of Michigan? And now these kids are, they're going outside the state. They're going all over the place. And um, the talent is out of this world. I mean, I'll put our state up against most states across the uh, United States. I mean, obviously Florida, California, Texas, uh, right. they're the best. Um, we are just as strong as any of them. Uh, I'm so excited about the future of baseball here in the state. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to uh, a nice season here uh, at State Champs covering baseball here. It's great that uh, the sun is out, or at least sort of. Uh, but uh, we're getting to uh, we're getting into the season, and uh, we'll be doing this all season long. I want to thank you for your time. Good luck today against Orchard Lake, and uh, we'll talk real soon. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.